Hey Sammy friends, welcome to the joyous Sammy and Rachel. I'm Rachel Kuhn and it's our wonderful Wednesday. Today I am just going to show and tell you a couple of things that I've been making lately or some swaps I've also received. I also want to share with you our, the new wonderful gift I'll be giving to all those who order from me on a Wednesday during the month of February using the hostess code for the month. Let's go ahead and hold my flip and I'll show you, you and tell you all the fun things for today. All right, sorry about that hold. I couldn't get my stand to adjust just the way I wanted but glad you can see now let me go ahead and show you a couple things but first let's start with the wonderful Wednesday so like I just said during the whole month of February when you order from me on a Wednesday you will get this wonderful gift from me it's the fuck I always say it wrong the f I don't even know how to say it right uh, but fa sea glass shapes and they're amazing they kind of look like pebbles or if you live near an ocean like me you have seen sea glass before which is pretty awesome that's like glass that's been shaped throughout the waves and have like a really nice coloring to it so i'm excited to use these on some projects coming up and even more excited to give them to you when you order on a wednesday um so for my show and tell today, I have a couple of items. First, I'm going to start off with some items I made for the Penny Crafter tutorial. So me and two other amazing ladies each month get together our ideas and we make a tutorial um, with a theme or with certain products. And this past two months during celebration, we've made not one but two tutorials, one with celebration items and one with a new stamp set from the mini holiday catalog. Sorry, mini catalog, no holiday there. And we have so much fun that when we make these, we then share the tutorials with everyone who orders through us as a little thank you via email. So I'm going to share with you my creations today. If you want the tutorial for this, all you have to do is order anything from me during this month. And I would love, love to send you some awesome things. All right. So first, let me show you this um, card box holder. This is used or made using the Blessings of Home stamp set. This is a great stamp set that has dies that helps cut out these floral shapes and some other great dies that go along with it as well. Um, but I really wanted to make a holder for birthday cards. So it says, have a perfect birthday. And then has this amazing lid that we could just pull off. And inside you see a place to store some cards. This is the card that I made that matches it almost exactly. It has that same paper on the bottom of it, has that same little image here, and then the top lid even matches the DSP right there. Super, super fun idea. And this was a Pinterest find I found that someone made a couple years ago and I just used my own design using their measurements. So that will be part of the tutorial that you'll get this month. Let me set that one aside. And then let me show you the celebration item I made. This is using the driving by stamp set, which is free when you order $50. And this is only going to be while supplies last. So if you love this, be sure to get it before the end of the month. It's definitely going to be gone by February 28th. So I made this awesome little Volkswagen van or bus, depending on who you're talking to, that's what it's called, using also this simply marvelous uh, DSP, which is also a celebration item. But what I've done is I went ahead and I cut out some of that DSP here to create these awesome looking, kind of like 70s looking vans. I, I just love the way that turned out. This one is a gum wrapper holder. My idea between, for this one is something for like a thank you gift at the end of a birthday party. So I love a red slug bug is what we call them. So this one is so fun. I even put a little bit of Winkastel on it and it has those fun gifts on the top of it. 
and it slides open either direction for you to pull out some apaca gum. Super easy design. Again, a tutorial for this will be over in your email when you order from me today. All right, not only did we make some things for that tutorial, but I also have some swaps I recently received from my Sam Camp. So let me go ahead and show you those and tell you who made them. And also I'll have the link later on to my blog to show you where to get the supplies that they use to make these cards. So this one is a slimline card made by my friend Paula Skeen. It has this cute little biker on here riding together and she's made it even a fun fold. It says hills are easier when you have a friend. Such a fun, a fun card there. I love that idea. And it's a slim line, which means it's more like a business envelope size. And Stampin' Up! now sells envelopes that will fit this. So I love that. All right. The next one was made by Susan. And she made this beautiful, simple, but amazing card using DSP. So that's our focal point here. The only stamping was the thinking of you. And the rest is just this cool looking almost looks like it's watercolored, but that is paper there. And it kind of looks like a sunset. It's called the Horizons DSP, I wanna say. Love, love this card. Then we have this one made by Megan Snyder. This is using that peach stamp set and DSP that we have. It's a great happy birthday on there. I love, love the way this one turned out. And she used like the crumb cake as her card base and a little bit of ribbon. Super fun card. This one's made by Margie Nation. She's created this fun wilderness look with that deer right there in the, this one's called like Grassy Grove, I wanna say. Um, she said she challenged herself to use this set that she'd gotten. And she said the biggest part about it is that it's just really messy. Cause all these little pieces that you see are missing were die cut out and are just like confetti afterwards. So. Keep that in mind that you have a trash can handy when you use this stamp set and dies. All right, the next one is made by Natalie Wool. She used this awesome bear image and the sending birthday wishes on the bottom. This is such a perfect like masculine card and she's fussy cut the bear and popped him up in dimensional so he has a little bit more depth to it. She's even watercolored right here on this top yellow part, but this image right here is a stamped image. It looks kind of like a bear shadow, right? Like Or like a little grassy spot. It's perfect for him to walk on. I love this card. I want to try to case this one probably a couple times because it's just so simple but stunning. And masculine, which are hard to find. This card is made by Becky Ray, and she used some celebration items. So she punched this out with her cloud punch from the DSP. This is DSP from Celebration, and this is even cut out from the DSP from Celebration. So just a little bit of stamping for the Hello Sunshine, and look how amazing that one turned out. Love, love this one. My save, my very last one, I'll show you, was the winner of the event. So this one's another super fun one which is a stamp set that's kind of been overlooked since the annual catalog it came out and people were super excited for it but months have gone by and i haven't seen much stamped with it lately so this is made by susan dreyer and she uh, used the wild cats stamp set and dies i love that she has this texture behind here with that cinnamon cider and that she went through a lot of die cutting for this one um, for, she stamped these, all of these three things in the front she stamped, and these were all die cut. And then those things she stamped were die cut. So a labor of love, but she made 10 of these for the swap, and they're just super amazing. Another great masculine birthday card. So between these two, you already have two great ideas for more manly style cards, which like I said, are harder to come by and to make. It's so easy to use the floral paper Stamping Up has and... Our DSP in general just tends to usually be a little bit more girly. So I love getting more ideas. All right. This one was made by Ashley Reed. And she used those cute ladybugs. And she made them pink, which is just super, super fun. Then she has this great looking splattering. I'm not sure which stamp she used for that. But I love that. It kind of gives like a really artistic look to it. She's even put a mat on it with a DSP with that black and white to just make that pop a little bit more versus just a solid color. Great, great design from Ashley for this one. All right, the last one I have to show you is one made by Karen 
Huffman, and she was the winner. And once you see this, you'll totally understand why. This is her beautiful card that she made using the new layering mask, decorative mask, I think they're what they're called. It's a very long name, but it's just a two-step um, way of masking. So there's double-sided images that once you do one color, you flip over the mask and you do the other type of shading with your blending brushes, sponge, or your even your little sponge dauber. This one turned out so pretty, and she even has these little butterflies here and a little bit of a thank you in the corner and great layers. She has four layers from the card base to the top for this card, so it's just completely nailed it, and she was the fan favorite. She won um, the swap and being one of the favorites. Let me go ahead and put these all out so you can see them again as we get ready to end our wonderful Wednesday i just so glad you guys were able to watch this. Please subscribe if you're watching my Facebook um, or watching my YouTube, I should say, and be sure to follow me. Um, thank you so much for joining and watching and have a wonderful Wednesday. Bye, everyone.